It's a nice one. Get them there. Well, that's the way to do it. You do can see the belt has failed. A couple right there. And you're gonna fix the motor. Oh, 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 oh. look at that. We had uh, mechanical failure. So that one. Yeah. yeah. And reach I rip those jacks. Oh, oh wow. I'll have enough money to buy a new belt. 50th anniversary cleanup. What do you say to that? We'll buy several belts. <laughs> and look at you can find gold. All right, today's the day. Uh, I'm gonna get in the water. We, I've been playing top man, dredge tender here for a while. And today we're gonna go for some major volume. Uh, we got the gold fever, I think. And uh, we really want to make some gold happen. So I'm getting in the water today. I'm gonna throw rocks. Pops is gonna run the nozzle. And we really wanna see what we can get done. Well, we got a pretty good hole going here. It's looking really good. Um, so we're starting out today. Uh, I'm gonna get in the water today. I'm going to uh, bounce between throwing rocks and tending to the dredge. And what are your thoughts about, about things this morning? Well, it comes down to do we stay or do we go? We have a good pace steady. We got one nugget about where the dredge is sitting right now, the first full day of, of digging. And that was nice. Since then we've had nice heavy flake. Picker nuggets, I guess. Tiny little ones. But uh, there's this theory that the big nuggets are at the top of the pond. You can see there's rapids right in there. That shows the bedrock is quite shallow. And it comes out into the pool here. And we know the bedrock, at least where we're dredging, is anywhere from two to four feet down there. But uh, traditionally, typically, right in here, the gold starts settling out. Oh, that's why we have this pay streak in the almost the whole width of the creek, some 20 feet, you know. And it's only on the edges that we get out of it here. It was the head of the pool. And uh, so we're working our way here. Could we test? over here and find out because we could test in here and find out three different things there could be nuggets there could be more pack that's good or there could be a blowout nothing you know sooner or later this pay streak is going to end and um so what we could do we could bring our dredge forward to right about here and then run our hose out 15 feet and punch a hole right about here someplace and, and we get down two feet, four feet maybe, to bedrock and uh, and find out. But there is a problem with that. Well, yeah, if we did that, then we'd be dumping our tailings back in the nice hole that we've made right yeah, now. pretty close. That's we've, right. we've got a, a nice face from basically all the way across the creek with, a, with an open slot to stand and work in, and then our tailings rock throws go way back behind us and we've got area to float the dredge. We have a really good setup there right now. But but then there's a the thought that it could be better up in here. Uh, a, a day's work up here could be two or three times better with nice little nuggets in our palm of our hand. But but we're making gold right now though. Right right here. We're making we're making good consistent gold. And you know it's true if we stretched out our hose and started a new hole right about here someplace it's going to be hard. You're going to have to work the hose down like that, throw off the rocks, and you know... Efficiency goes down. Yeah, yeah. A, we got a volume of the opportunity for a large amount of volume. Today I'm getting in the water, and today I'm going to be throwing rocks, so our volume is going to increase. And let's let's face it, um, we're getting good gold. We're not going to say how much we're going to get. We're going to, well, we're going to, we're going to go for a lot of gold. We're a dreamer. But it's probably better that we just work the whole creek up here. One thing, if we did find those three different things, nuggets, more pack, or nothing, well, what are we gonna do about it? Uh, well, it, it's probably best just to come back here and, and work it off. Let's hope that we have enough days in this season. We're getting kind of toward the end of the season. You know, we could start, uh, we could have forest fires shut down the forest. Uh, there's other things that could happen that 
well, we may not be able to finish it up. These are all things, factors we're trying to rub into our mind, but I think for today, we're just gonna go hard and work hard in that hole and see if we get a good cleanup. That sounds like a great idea. All right, let's do that. Let's make some gold happen by with volume. Yes, yes. R run some material. There, there's nothing against working a good pay streak and getting a decent volume and maybe we'll be able to see sooner or later those nice little nuggets sitting on bedrock i like it i like it so then let's let's make a measurement here the face of our hole here i'm going to stand right here next to this big boulder right and at this point the face of our hole goes all the way across from from my, my feet here this boulder goes all the way across to about where the view box is. That's our face of the hole, and that's that's the far edge of the hole, and this is the close edge of the hole. So, um, what is that? It's about maybe 16 feet across yeah. by about three foot deep average, probably, of material. Yeah. So, let's make a goal today. Let's see if we can go from, from this line right here to somewhere somewhere up in here you know maybe we can make it to this rock or those maple branches over there kind of lying there's a stick right there maybe somewhere there let's see if we can advance like four or five feet today you don't you can't believe how many rocks we're gonna have to throw out of there yeah there's probably, oh, okay. there's probably like five thousand rocks to move plus all the gravel you know yesterday i got in the water and you were getting the dredge ready to go it's so nice to have a top man who knows what they're doing but uh uh, I threw the first rock out and it was pretty heavy and I went, oh my goodness, I'm having trouble with the first one. How am I going to make it through the day? But you know, pretty soon the gravel was rolling through the, the dredge and I got excited and uh, I started seeing black and red rocks on the bedrock and that's a good sign. There was, there was some gold in there, but we could see it in the sluice box. So uh, let's hit it hard today. Let's do it. Going for the big hole today. You know, you can really see that pile of rocks. It's, it's three feet deep at least. And that's why we moved out of the hole here by hand. And of course the drain is pulling out the underside. But that's close to like a, a small dump truck load of rocks, you know. Yeah, we're making some good progress today. It's one rock at a time, you know. We've uh, we've advanced forward, you know, like three feet, four feet, somewhere in there. From about the nozzle here, mm. back about uh, about to there, yeah. Three, yeah, three over three feet wide by about maybe twelve feet. And I cleaned width. a little bit here, but back or, where my feet are, back over here, this hasn't been cleaned either. I've, I've kept track of that, right. and there's a little layer of rock on top of it. All right, well let's uh, let's do a bedrock cleaning. All right, so uh, we're ready to clean the bedrock, and no air fired up and we had no air and I, when i disconnected the air compressor an hour or so ago i uh disconnected and i felt that i could feel the air oh it's running great when we put it back on you do can see the belt has failed it's come apart here and uh, we don't have a spare but this is uh, probably a, a, a standard one it doesn't the There's numbers the maybe aren't visible on it but we can tell by the size the local mining shop probably has them too. You have to disconnect and take apart the pump. 
And, uh, let's see, it goes back on. Yeah. Oh, I doubt if it's going to run very long. You want to try it? We got no other option. Pardon me? We got no other option. Let's let's run it. We won't worry about putting the shroud back on. Yeah. yeah. And we can uh, run it until she blows. And then we could we, we can at least get that bedrock clean. The stuff it, we have it, it, up. It, we spend all our time taking out the overburden. That's all good. There's there's always a very, always these things that come up. Dealing it with uh, obstacles and adversities. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna go. Look, it, it, it's got that long strip in there. It's not gonna be gripping. No, no, it's not worth trying, Josh. You don't think it's gonna work? I don't think so. Uh, what, 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 well, damage that no. I don't think it's going to hurt anything else. We won't put the shroud back on. Let's give it a try. Yeah. I'll, I'll go for the deep portion there first. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Probably we're better just to try to finish up what we can today. What do you think? Um, yeah. Apparently, it'll only run for a couple seconds. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just go see what we can do. Long arming now. Long arming. That's all we did in the old days, so we're at air. That's funny how that works. The gold gods are like, oh, you're right on top of getting some gold, so we're going to throw a monkey wrench at you. <laughs> oh, well. That's how it goes. So I'm standing on bedrock, and um, it's two and a half, four feet deep. It's going down, which is a good thing. We were taking turns, taking breaths, and the other guy would be down at the bottom working the nozzle. You have to be close to the nozzle to keep it from jamming, and also you want to be able to clean the bedrock well. And we have a lot of material back in here that needs to be done. We, we, we left the layer on uh, like the bottom, like six inches a foot of the pack. We left it on bedrock. That's right. And we we're going to clean that by itself, but we lost our air. So our compressor is down for the day, and. Um, we have an option though, back at base camp, we have an extra engine and compressor. And uh, Josh is gonna go back and get that. And I'm gonna stay over here in the easy stuff and take off overburden, which we get some gold on anyway, needs to come off sooner or later. So he'll go fetch that and it hasn't run for a while, but hopefully it'll start right up. Should we go, should we go? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll go get that. And uh, yeah, this long arm and thing's just too much energy. Oh yeah, it's oh yeah. Okay, so I drank a lot of water I didn't want to drink. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, I'll be back. Alright, I'll get I'll keep busy here. Alright, after a temporary slowdown, I ran back and I grabbed the temporary compressor, pumping air down and uh, that's clean and bedrock. So we are making we're making gold now, and you can see how much progress forward we've made today. Uh, fantastic. I'm going to work on getting some good underwater shots. Making gold! All right, clean and bed rock. Hopefully we'll see some nice gold sitting on bedrock here soon. Maybe some nuggets.
I'm getting cold. Okay, we'll trade off. I got a shower. I got a shower. I'll trade off with you. All right, well, what do you think? We uncovered a lot of good bedrock. We made our goal of, of getting to the ledge there. Oh, we had uh, mechanical failures of the, the belt there, but you know, we kept going. Uh, I kept working on overbird. You went to home base and uh, uh, got the uh, air compressor and it ran and uh, we were able to clean up the bedrock there. I think, uh, I think it's gonna be a good cleanup. Okay, yeah. B based on on uh, what everything else we've done here, and I saw a few flights and that you saw that. We, yeah, I saw a little bit of gold. Uh, we moved a lot of volume. Yeah, that's right. And we cleaned a lot of bedrock. We probably cleaned about, I don't know, 80 or 100 square feet of bedrock, maybe. Cool. Something like that. So. It's interesting, as soon as you uh, dredge down through the, the soft pack, the loose stuff on the surface and hit the, uh, uh, the pack material, we can see gold on occasion. Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing good. All right, well, we're going to call that wrap for today. As making, moving rocks. You don't see any big ones hanging out down here, though. That's okay. If we're, we're making it with the little stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. The nuggets are just a sheer bonus. It's when you get spotty nuggets that it's so hard. Get them there. Couple right there. Mm -hmm. Let's watch the carpet and see if they come out. That might be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. I, I just took a, uh, oh. a, a pan out of the uh, plus 10 mesh to check it. And, uh, the, oh, 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 that was just, you know, a random, a random handful there. Good, nice. good, good, good. Nice handful there. Well, I, I'm kind of panning with my hands and you can see that I came up with another little one here. But and it's not the normal way you'd prospect a creek by panning with your fingers, but that's how you clean up. Well, so we're using a different message here. We have the lift track spot and we've already cleaned out the front. And uh, we had one of these before, and it worked really well. And uh, we take all the concentrate out of the food of the tray, right? Like that. And those little concentrate down to just a little bit. See that one bouncing right there? I think that's a plate. Well, that's a nice size one right there. That's the way to do it. Look at all that. That's a good sized piece right there. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's the second largest piece you've gotten, I think. It look at it, it's, it's got it's that rusty color on one side. Rusty. It's been sitting on the bottom next to a piece of iron or something. We find those occasionally. Nice. Oh, look yeah. at that ripple. That ripple's jacked. Oh, cool. wow. That looks good too. Look at this from back there, yeah. Okay, well, that's. Now there's a decent sized piece that made it all the way down to right there. Huh. Well, maybe we'll have to, to rerun those those cars. It's a quick cleanup for today. That, well, we got it in up. We got it in there. Cool. This saves an enormous amount of time, and uh, we'll get most of the gold here. And this winter, we can we can play around with the uh, the oversize that's in the tub there. This is some gold down. This doesn't want to come out, does it? We make it look so easy, Josh. All we have to do is throw 10,000 rocks out and uh, keep the equipment repaired, keep them stumbling, and for Grandpa to get over all the shivering. And look at you can find gold. It's that easy. Well, we'll have enough money to buy a new belt for the poor drift. Oh, look at all that. What do you say to that? Oh, you can buy several belts.
Set by, by several belts, yeah. Yeah, we should have a spare, I guess, you know, isn't that true? Yeah. Yeah. Big one. My dear wife always remembers the dates, you know. Oh, she just told me recently it was 54 years that she bought her first car at Old Peter Rambler, you know. But I remembered that it was 50 years ago this summer that I bought my first gold dredge. And so I'm honoring it with the 50th anniversary cleanup. And yeah, we moved a lot. Ooh. Yeah, I, I still get more in here. So the question this morning was, should we jump ahead and do some testing with the, the nozzle and sitting at the end of the excavation and the hose stretched out and put some holes down looking for nuggets? And we decided now, now it's probably more practical just to go ahead and just run the material they're in. We know it carries gold. And so we worked hard today. We had some breakdowns. We got through that. And uh, we're there. Let's clean up. Uh, notice the, the rust on this big flake. I'll turn it over. On the other side, it's not so bad. But uh, that means it was sitting in the bottom of a crevice, maybe around nails. Uh, there's several others that have the iron stain. And you can take it off and let your cap. But uh, we probably have half that amount of gold in the minus 20 meg we haven't cleaned it up yet. So uh, I think we made the right decision. Yeah, we made a, made a great run. That was a great deck. Uh, I will pull that engine off and then I will fix it this week and then we'll get back to it. Yeah, in a couple days maybe I'll be back down again. Sounds good. Well, it's time to head home and, and you're going to fix the motor and um, we're going to hit it again in a couple days. I'm looking forward to it.